You want to leave to Libya now. All I have to do for you, I'll walk you to the park. You take a bus to Kano. When you get to Kano, you call one of my clients. He will pick you from Kano to Zidane. When you get to Zidane, another of my clients, I will call him. That will pick you from Zidane to Agades. Once you get to Agades, you have to wait till Monday, the following Monday. Then you now join the Hilos trip to Libya. It's very easy, though it's risky. You will come and meet me now, for instance. Guy, I want to go to Libya. I don't know why I want to go. I say, I can, no problem. Go bring 150k, come. Then I will convey you to Libya successfully without any harms, though it's God all the way. I said, all right, no problem. Since I know the route very, very well, at least I can speak the very, very part of the Arab uh, language. My first passengers were about 23. That was my first one. I took them to Libya successfully by the special grace of God. All of them are in Europe. They call me, have their contact with me on my phone here. Yeah. We do talk on WhatsApp, we talk on Facebook, talk to them. It was wrong. It was wrong because, one, I never forced anybody. Any of my passengers I took down to Libya, the parents were aware of their journey. Even when they knew it was 50-50 risk per se, it was because of the economy of the country. If Nigeria was a better country, I never believed anybody would take that risk through Sahara Desert, nor the Mediterranean Sea. On my last trip to Libya, I came across a series of graduates on that journey, like me. Even people that graduate from private universities, I have no choice. I never feel good maybe becoming into all these old things, trafficking people from here to Libya. I'm never happy with it. But it's a situation of things because I have to survive. 